guys welcome back to my channel um so i wanted to come to you guys with another weight loss update video i'm actually going to put my youtube and see what my last weight was that i weighed in at 285.8 so i believe right now i am i think i weighed in at 282 so that's a weight loss of about three pounds um so that's really discouraging Obviously, I can't say I've been doing my best, but I'm not doing bad either. The past week has definitely been a lot better than what it was, you know, in the previous week. But I did also go on vacation and stuff like that. So, you know, that's always kind of a little bit of a setback when you take a vacation. Um, so that was a little bit of an issue as well. Um, I have been able to get better into the swing of things and stuff. My job scheduling, everything's back to normal. So that's been a plus for me. Um... I did find out recently, I did post on my Twitter also, so I was wearing a size 26 pants. Um, they were very large on me, they were flooding on me. I assumed I was a size 22 because I had a size 22 at home and I put them on and they fit and I was like, oh cool, I'm a size 22 now. So I went to Old Navy because I wanted to buy some new clothes for work and I was like, hmm, because you know they don't really carry plus sizes in store at all at Old Navy. The, the biggest size I had was a 20 in store. I found a pair of jeans and I found a pair of like those pixie trouser pants that are kind of like ankle cut. They're super cute. So I go to the fitting room and I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is not going to fit. This is going to suck. Like, oh my gosh. I'm extremely discouraged. So I go to the fitting room. I go to put like the pixie pants on. They go all the way up. They button, they zip. I had to call my, I was on the phone with my friend and I was like, I was like, I have to FaceTime you. I was like, you're not going to believe this. I was like, I fit in a size 20. I was so blown away. I was so taken back. Like, I was shocked. And honestly, I told her, I was like, I think I might be able to fit into an 18, too. Um, so, it was just, it was a huge accomplishment for me. It made me feel a lot better about myself, obviously. Um, people at work keep asking me, like, what are you doing to lose weight? What are you doing to lose weight? And that's the thing I think I'm having a hard time with because, as I talked about in my last video, like, I haven't seen any of my own weight loss. I still see the same exact person from five six months ago whenever I started doing this I see the exact same person I haven't seen any changes in myself and and I mean honestly I haven't I truly haven't so like it's kind of you know a catch-22 because I don't see anything with myself um but every everybody else does so it's kind of frustrating because you know you want to see the changes that you're doing and that you're putting forward for yourself and I haven't been able to see that so it's a little disheartening and that is something that you're going to struggle with and if anyone out there has felt that way is there anything that you've done to help yourself realize it to see it regardless of the pant size pant size is you know you put them on they fit they don't fit um does it feel good yes but to physically look in the mirror and i just watched an episode of my 600 pound life i think it was the most recent one unless there was a new one this week but i just watched the, the newer newer episode where it was like the life update i can't remember the name of the person but she was like going to be a motivational speaker and stuff and she was married and had three kids and her and her husband were getting a divorce and the one thing she said she was like i can't look in the mirror because she said when she looks in the mirror all her old her old self comes out and that's almost kind of like how i feel like i look in the mirror and i don't see the new person that i am i just see that same person and um she kind of like hit the nail on the head with a lot of things that she was saying and i kind of felt the same way that she felt just as far as like you know you don't you don't see anything like you don't see it like other people see it but you don't see it so that's one of those things that's like you know it's just hard it's just hard and that's that's why i'm making these videos though you know um kind of for me to ramble and just to let my emotions out let my feelings out um just about how i'm feeling um with my weight loss and you know if you have the same feelings if you're going through any of the same stuff i'm going through um, is there anything that you do or do you just kind of work through it like I am um, on a daily basis um, I'm really trying lately to push myself you know to start doing like the sit-ups and the squats and the the you know the toning part of it I still have a lot a lot a lot of weight to lose I have over 100 pounds I still need to lose um, but I'm starting to do that stuff just because I want to make sure that that's not something I'm forgetting about. I want to make it a habit now. Um, all the weight that I've lost basically up to this point has been recent weight gain within the past year or so. Um, so I knew that it was going to be a little easier to fall off. Everything that I have now, it's kind of like I'm starting from the beginning because I was always like around 260, 280. Um, not always, but majority of the time um once i started the weight loss journey i was like 260 280 
and then I'll lose a little bit of weight, and then that's then you know I maybe was down to like two two fifty somewhere around there, and then I ended up gaining all the way up until three hundred and twenty eight pounds. Um, so all that weight, you know, it was recent weight gain, so that kind of melted off in a sense. Um, once I just started making those, you know, things that I needed to do. But everything that I have now is weight that's been here with me a long time, which is why I have to push extra hard and push myself extra hard and make sure I go harder. And if any of you are going through this also, you understand. Um, I think part of me hit a little too hard in the beginning because with, like, the calorie decrease and def def deficit, <laughs> there we go, um, I wasn't, I don't really count my calories on a daily basis, so that's what's a little more difficult for me. I kind of just try to watch what I eat, make sure I'm eating something that's, you know, whole grain, you know, not high in sodium, not high in fat, not high in carbs, just something that's wholesome, you know. Um, I try to make sure I do um, that type of meal. I don't really watch what I eat, so I think that's that's quite an issue for me because I can't really watch my calories also. Um, so they tell you, you know, if you're eating 2,000, just take away 500, and then you eat the 500, the 1,500, and you're going to lose weight. Well, I don't count calories, so I don't really know what I need to be taking away. So I think that's something I may have to look into too. Um, but I've definitely started doing like those little things, you know, like the squats and all the arm lifts and all that kind of stuff, just to try to like tone myself a little bit, get some more muscle, get my metabolism going a little bit more, because um, I think that's what I'm going to need to clear out the rest of the weight. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. That is my rant for the day. Um, that's all I have. I hope next month I have a better number to present than I did this month. Um, but any loss is a good loss to me. Um, so until next time, I appreciate you guys. I thank you so much for watching. Again, questions, comments, concerns, please let me know if you've gone through any of this. If you are going through this, please talk about it. Please let me know. You don't have to put it in the comments. You can inbox me. You can email me. You can message me. Whatever you feel you need to do, please know that, you know, I'm an advocate for anyone that's going through the journey with me. Um, and please make sure you hit the subscribe button to show your support for me. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. And I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye.